So I'm going to bring up your first comic to get the night started tonight. He is a regular you've seen here the past couple of weeks. Put your hands together for Patrick Baylog. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody doing tonight? Well, first, I want, before I even say that, I want to thank uh, Weather Vane Playhouse. This is pretty awesome that they let us uh, showcase our talents and, and uh, get up here. But so uh, how many, how many, my last time I was here, that we had some retirees in the crowd. Do we got any retirees today? No retirees. Oh, my gosh. We had almost a whole audience, Mary, right? And everybody was retirees. Yet. Yeah, I remember it, right? Yeah, I mean, the thing about retirees, the thing I love about them um, is they don't give a fuck. Like, they have zero fucks to give at this point, right? They are done. And then I'm 40 years old, and I cannot wait till I'm a retiree, right? And I'm going to give you a perfect example. Uh, my mother, uh, she's a wonderful woman, but she's retired, and she could care less about anything. So I, I'll, uh, we said, you know what, Mom, why don't you come with us on a, on a vacation? We were going to go on a cruise. Um, if anybody knows about old women, um, they have a hard time, they're like little kids. Anytime you go somewhere, they're like, I gotta go to the bathroom. They have to go, they had to go to the bathroom more times while we were driving down than my kid, my, uh, my, my little kids. And so yeah, we, we were driving down and you know, my wife, my mom knows this, so I said, hey, if you could ride with us, when we, you know, we're gonna about a, we got about a 10 hour drive, I go, if you ride with us, then you gotta make sure that you hold it, and we, we'll stop when we can, but please hold it. And so she's like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, all right, so she's sitting in the back of our van, and I'm like, you know, all right, she's sitting in the back of the van, and all of a sudden, my little, my daughter goes, oh my God, Granny Pat! And I'm like, what is she doing? She didn't want to stop, so she literally brought a bedpan with her and was in, in the back thing going, it doesn't matter, I don't give a fuck, leave me alone. I'm like, what are you doing? I was like, I cannot believe that you were, uh, you know, relieving yourself in the back of the van. We could have stopped. And she's like, nah, whatever. So then we get, we get down to uh, the, where we're getting ready to board onto the cruise, and we had to go through TSA. Um, this is before marijuana was legal everywhere, right? So my mom brings a little container of marijuana with her, right? And I'm nervous. I'm like, what the hell did you bring that for us? We're going to get in trouble here. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. What are they going to do? Arrest a 65-year-old woman? And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm nervous. We're standing in line. Like, our whole vacation is going to get ruined because... I, I, well, because she's gonna get caught, she's gonna get arrested, and, and, and whatnot. So I'm like nervous, I'm sweating as if I was like trying to cross the border at Mexico with, with a, a bunch of uh, heroin in my ass, right? So I'm like, oh, let's get there. So sure enough, they don't say a word. She's like, I told you, they're not gonna arrest a 60 year old woman. Then we get to our cabin, all of our luggage is all laid up, except for my mom's, and I'm like, why isn't your luggage up here? What's going on? She's like, I don't know, maybe they're checking it. And I said, why would they be checking it? And she goes, well, I put a, I put a, a couple bottles of wine in there. And I go, are you, did you not see all the signs that say, uh, you, you know, that say you can't smuggle, you know, have alcohol on this? And she's like, I don't care. What are they going to do? Take my $12, $12 uh, bottle of wine? I'm like, she's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, yes, that's true. Nobody's going to steal your Boone's Farm. But... We probably should not have uh, done that. So, again, I mean, the moral of the story here is if you're going to go on vacation, make sure you take a retiree so they can be your drug mule. <laughs> so, yeah, I've gotten lazy in my time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm 40 years old. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm pretty lazy. So, I, I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm so lazy that. Uh, I don't even work out much anymore. I got one of those Oculuses. How many people, I know my buddy over here had an Oculus from last time. How many of you guys have an Oculus, those, the virtual reality? No? You know what I'm talking about? So this is, well, basically, I downloaded, it's, it's virtual reality. So I can pretend like I am playing different games and, and working out. So the games that I've downloaded to make sure that I work out are darts, bowling and golf you know the games you would the, the the sports you would think of of the of the most athletic people in the world right 
So that, that's kind of what, I, what I've done uh, so far. Uh, it hasn't, as you can see, it's been working out very, very well. I think I've, you know, I'm losing weight. But um, the uh, bad thing about Oculus is, I don't know if you've had a, this experience before, but I have, is there's sexual assault. And there's not much you can do about it. So what happens is you would be playing poker like last time I was playing poker and and there was a bunch of these these kids they were probably you know in the teenagers or whatever and they got this idea that hey man I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing sexual things to this guy to laugh which is kinda weird to me because I don't remember ever when I was a little when I was a teenager going hey you know what would be funny if we pretend like we're jerking off that guy over there like that would be a little weird right but they did it. So when I'm sitting there playing the, the Oculus, and the one thing that you do is like, when you do something good, you give somebody a high five and sparks fly, right? So next thing I know, I'm sitting there playing poker and these kids are giggling and I'm like, what are they laughing about? And they look over at, I look over and this one kid has his hand and, and he's going like this to me, right? And I'm going, what the hell? Now the worst part about it is you can't stop it because it's virtual, right? So when I'm trying to slap it away, all of a sudden, sparks are flying everywhere because I'm pushing around trying to suspect, uh, flash or uh, slap it away. And there's sparks are flying, and I'm thinking, you know what? I should probably just let this happen. I've been married for a long time. I haven't had this many sparks in my crotch in a long time. So I just sit back there, and then I think it made them uncomfortable because they're like, I can't believe it. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Go ahead and and, and have have uh, have at it, guys. So, hey, I really appreciate my time. I, thank you guys for having me, and uh, we'll bring up the next comic. Give it up again for Patrick Baylog.